attention. Right now, this instant. Something of an unknown entity is inside your house somewhere. You need to find it soon. Otherwise, you will not like to see what it is capable of. Do not make a sound. It can hear you. What are you waiting for? Go find out what is inside your home. Before it's too late. <laughs> Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to a series that I will be introducing on my channel called Three Scary Games. A series where I just play three completely random scary games on the internet. They don't even have to be necessarily scary. They could just be some somewhere in the horror genre. As long as they're in the horror genre, it's in Three Scary Games, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, I don't know what's wrong with me. Let's just cut to the video. Okay, so the first game for today's episode is called Amanda the Adventurer. Now, this is a game that has really been popping up on itch.io, but I didn't really play it because it was kind of like a short type game. Even my friend Blazer played it about a month ago, two ago, but, you know, without further ado. Uh, apparently, you have to put these tapes in the TV, and that's where, that's how you have to play the game. It's not like an actual play button here. Oh, Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. And I love apples. Now, Do you like apples? We can already tell, like, right off the bat, this is like a bootleg Door of the Explorer type of thing. Do you like apples? Yes, actually, I do. I'm allergic to apples. That's okay. You should never be afraid to try something new. What? But we don't even what? know where the store is. What? No, 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 no. Do you know where the store is? Let me get this straight. I'm allergic to apples. Don't worry. It's okay to try something new. You want them to die from apple? People can die from allergic reactions, you know. This girl's already a psychopath. I already hate you. And they want us to know where the store is. Now, I hate it so much when they do this whole Door the Explorer crap. They're like, can you tell us where the store is? And the store is literally like right next to them. So I, I kind of, I don't want to actually click on the store. I, I'm going to click on just something do else. Do you know where the store is? Store. Do you know where the store is? Okay, so she's just now altering the show. Can't click on the sun. Okay, so I, I, I'm basically forced yeah, to. that's right. Let's go. We're oh at the God. store. It sure looks Crowded, Are you serious, my brother? You're the there only ones apples. here. Can you see Apple? I don't see nobody else in the store but you. Can I say Apple? No. Uh, what else do I say that starts with Alexa? Say yeah. Apple. No. Apple. Oh, you saw that Twitch. You saw that Twitch. Apple. Uh, stupid. Oh, Good uh, job. Now we can make Apple pie. It just. It. I didn't type that in. It just typed that in. I was. I typed in stupid. That apple. I can smell you. Wait, oh, what did that? Who took that first episode? Okay, so we're supposed to just do the second one and talk us episode three. Oh, you. Okay. We don't have much time. Whatever you really? do. Yeah, Hi uh, everyone. I know it. I'm Amanda. Yep. This girl's I'm insane. Willie. Uh, I'm Willie. I'm Willie. What? This is grandma. Oh, wait. Uh, Harry. Can you tell us where the butcher is? You really gonna do that to grandma? You really gonna give her poison tell meat? Tell us where the butcher. Oh my god, why'd she say it in a, such a serious tone like that? Dab stuff. See? Oh my god. I can't click on anything else. They force us. Let's go. Hello, me man. Look, why is did, the music just got all distorted? Why did the music get all Can you tell the meat man what we need? No. No, I can't. Uh poop. Tell that. Can you tell the meat man what we need? No. No, no. Okay, no, 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 watch you gotta twitch like that. Just tell me what no, no, I mean, tell me, tell me. I, I, I just typed in D O O D. I don't know, dude. Right. The, 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 what? See, I didn't type it. That's what the game's doing. It's making me type in things that I'm not actually typing in. What in the what is this? That is very disturbing. Yeah, I think it's actually the music and the awkwardness that makes that. Whoa, whoa, you saw that, right? I think she was about to. She was about to do something to her. Well, this is the final episode. Oh God. Oh my God. It's dark out. Let's go home. First of all, close your mouth. God. Second of all, what? That, that's Wooly. That, that's a piece of Wooly's wool. I don't know what she did to him, but obviously she has something to do with Wooly. Like she probably murdered him or something, knowing this psychopath. So let's go home. Let's go to the park. Home. Whatever that is. No. Going to the house. No, I'm not going to the house. Wait. I can't click. Oh my god. I hate that so much. Knock on the door. Yeah, it's not gonna window. Go inside. No. Let's go now. Let me in. Can we, can we click on the other window? 
No, click on the. I can't click. I can't click on the. Oh God. Why do I have to? What? Okay, so. Uh, I don't know what I type in. Beach? I don't. I don't know. I can't. Uh, what? Okay, so I guess the point in that game was like a bootleg door the explorer type thing, and she's secretly a monster. Cause like that was a monster right there, like on the TV right before like the, the show cut. There's also apparently it's like some secret tapes that you can find if you do certain stuff in the game, but I'm not gonna do that. Why? Because I'm too lazy. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Now this next one is called Maple County. Now this is actually another horror game that is based off of the Mandela catalog. I think some of you remember when I played Assessment Examination a few months ago. That was also a game that was inspired from the Mandela catalog. So I'm getting, gonna get like the same type of vibes, I feel like. Just by the atmosphere, the whole VHS. Attention Maple County Police Department, oh. please take a seat. Your training video will begin momentarily. Why do I have to take a seat if I'm already in the seat? training video, please remain seated. Pick up the remote on the table in front of you and give inputs when required. I'm Thank you. I don't know what you're talking about seating. Okay. This interactive training video is brought to you by Maple County's Police uh, Department. I'm gonna the, ex video, I'm gonna the exact the same vibes, dude, from assessment examination. In citizens from this threat. We know very little about this threat, but as we learn and grow our knowledge, this threat will be removed in the following months. The media has not revealed this threat, and everything you see in this training video is classified. Sharing this information with friends or loved ones is not permitted. Hmm. Exercise one, assessing the threat. On screen, yeah. two images will appear. On instinct alone, oh, this please choose the image that is the most unsettling. You will be scored at the end of this video. This is just like assessment examination, dude. Except that you, there was one image that you could tell was a threat or not, but now it's two. Oh! 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 oh my god. Oh, those eyes. Those eyes. Lady, I'm sorry. Did you just like sniff a whole pound of crack? Or did you just like overdose on meds or something? But I think any, you know, normal person would choose that. I think I'm gonna leave you as a threat. Oh god. Okay, that's even creepier. God, okay. Flexion. Okay, yeah, it's obviously this. The lips are a bit weird. The eyes are definitely like weird looking, like little ah! fish eyes, and it looks like they have no eyebrows. I mean, they could have shaved them off, but that's highly unlikely, so I'm definitely choosing that as a threat. Where's the other image? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Make your selection. Bro, you look like you could be a stand in for the exorcist. Like, I don't know who you are. You look like an old man or something. But that is. Just a... Oh, and when you press it, he's not there anymore. That's even better. What the time I see my old house, I feel sick to my stomach. Probably because there's demons there. What is that thing in the sky, actually? I just know. What is that thing in the sky? Uh, let's just act like that isn't there. I can't get his eyes out of my head. He's weightless, almost floating. Dash from room to room like a puppet on strings. Yeah, all right, can we get out of this, like, this view? I don't like this angle. Something's gonna probably pop up from the bushes or whatever. I think there's somebody in my kitchen. Congratulations. You passed the first exercise. Next, we will learn more on how to identify a threat. Reports have identified these characteristics. Lack of emotion and uncanny facial features. Yeah, exactly. Body language mirroring and verbal imitation. Lack of eye tracking and awkward movement. Oh! Uh, I think somebody's in my bedroom. Is everything okay? Whoa, I can actually move here. Oh, wow. That TV, is that like a, is that TV like a reference to like the intruder or something? Cause like, the intruder, they banned televisions in Mandela catalog because like the intruder face kept popping up on them. What is, oh, that's just like a dinner table. Do we just like keep going on? Yeah, I don't know where this is. I'm pretty sure. Hey honey, what can you come in my room? No, 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 no. I'm not coming in your room. You're an alternate. I'm not coming in your room. No, 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 I'm, I'm good, honey. I'm good. Mom is dead. It's tricking you. Obviously, no doubt it's tricking me. The police won't help you. Play dead. How do I play dead? Do I just like not move? Okay, I guess. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, there's something else about. Oh! What was that, Ben? Sheriff's Department. Uh, hi. So, this could be nothing, but this is really freaky dude that's been chasing my house, I think. <coughs> Can you describe them to me at least? Um, I mean, I mean, it's it's like pitch black outside, but um, mm. I, I think he might be on like drugs or something. He's moving like really weird. <sighs> well, uh, is he doing anything illegal or? I uh, know you guys. 
Nothing happens out here. Just send someone. Jesus. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just freaked out, man. It's just, this shit never happened. All right, all right. What's he doing right now? Um, what's he doing right uh, now? Jesus. Uh, trying to find some little kids to murder. That's what he's doing. I mean, he definitely knows I'm looking at him. And he knows I'm calling the cops, so hopefully he'll be off that. I don't know. Something's just off. Oh. What's your address? It's, uh, no road. Oh, yeah, they got a sense of that, obviously. Yeah, just, just try to hurry. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom's passed out in the other room. I'm not trying to, like, wake her up and freak her out of Stacy head. Yep, we'll see you soon. Read by Thornbit. Wait, that was the end? That was the end. Wow. That was short, but still extremely good. I could see this game definitely have a lot more, like, potential into it, like, becoming... If it was, like, a full, like, really, like, big game or something like that. Anyways, on to the next one. The last game for today's episode is called Nocturnal Visit. Now, I don't really know much about what this game is, but I'm pretty sure you're probably like doing like investigating like a house at night or something. Am I right? All right, so uh, I'm on my laptop, got my Coke. I guess I can leave. I should check my laptop before I go. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, Spooky's Haunted House. This is no normal house. Its backstory even helps to add to the spookiness. Built in the 60s, this house is home for several serial killers. Nowadays, all stuff is the remains of the lives that were taken. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's not but why is it still a mystery numerous reports of disappearances have been made after some people have visited this house you do not recommend to explore this house by any means it's not safe and you might not return from it well i'm i'm pretty sure they could they don't you don't get any more clearer than that right let me guess i'm going to go explore that house aren't i huh i'm right press f to turn on your flashlight okay huh yeah i knew it we're doing this you see this is one indicator the character isn't black. Ah! I know that for a fact. Because this character in the story was black. Oh, see that? If you hear like one little stick, like that little crack there, we're out of there. That's part of our instincts. And the whole horror game just ends in like two minutes. That's the immediate indicator. This man is does not have black instincts, man. Okay, so I can't go in through the front door. So there could probably be a back door because every every house usually have a, has a backyard back door, right? Yep. If I was in this situation, I would have already turned back for, for by now, especially since this was people died in this house. Can I get through here? Oh. Oh, it's pitch <laughs> black inside there. Yeah, I'm gonna die here regardless. I just know it. Oh, God. Can I open this? No, wait. Can I? This door heads to the basement. Okay, so that's the door I think I came down from. Open this. Okay, so that's the bath. I don't get why anybody would want to go in this house. It's like, what if a family lived here? Oh. You heard that. It was like either knocking or footsteps. Man, why can't people just have black instinct in movies? Like if black people were in horror movies, the whole movie would be done in literally a minute. It's like, you hear one sound? Yeah, I'm dipping, I'm out of there. Of course, people acting dumb. It's the reason why they get killed. I can't turn off the water. This is just a kitchen. This is an upstairs, but... Ooh, I don't like that. It's released to the garage. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to find, like, keys and stuff in here. Uh, oh, this, this is an attic. Huh. Oh, stop at the sounds, dude. Oh, there's a key. Key. Take that up. Garage key obtained. Okay, so that, I can open the garage now with that. All right, so that means I can go back downstairs. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Stop. Let me go down, please. Oh, God. Oh, it's another key. Basement key obtained. Okay, so I can go to the base. Okay, so I see. The keys can lead me to a certain door. Oh, oh, oh. oh. can't see my flashlight oh of course the door's boarded up every horror game always gotta add this done it every single horror game i ate it i ate it i ate it uh, okay so this was the basement door i'm pretty sure right oh god yeah we're gonna die we're gonna die in this house man we're going to die wait what is this oh, that's a phone okay update when the house seems to bend it overall nothing happened tends to start to feel really overwhelmed and really doing the environment of this place has several windows really being watched uh getting this place is a complete mistake since different stalking me with the doors locked and i got nowhere something is coming to the basement oh my god yep, i'm gonna die i'm gonna die here right i'm positive oh the front phone from upstairs is ringing oh Ooh, I heard that. Oh, mmm. I heard that. Okay. Let me pick up the phone, please. <laughs> She's crying. Okay, shut up. Can I please just get off the phone? I don't want to hear your crying. Did you just get extra silent to you? Like, I think there was, like, ambience. Oh, 
Did the back door just open? The same back door that I came in here from? Yes, definitely. Wait, was that the... That's the front door. Yeah, that's the front door. That's the back... Oh, guys, wide oh! open. Brace yourselves. I'm not go... Oh, God. Ooh! A jump scare wasn't actually that bad, surprisingly. <laughs> I didn't scream at the top of my lungs, and that's it. That was nice. That was pretty nice. The other thing, nocturnal visit, that kind of had like um, kind of like a cliche type of like plot and storyline. It's like, oh no, haunted house. Don't go in, otherwise something's gonna happen to you. Regardless, I still enjoy the game anyway. But that's gonna end it off for this episode of Three Scary Games. All three of the games that I played will be linked down in the description if you guys want to play it yourselves. If you did happen to enjoy, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below, share the video with people, and subscribe if you haven't already. As well as turning on the notification bell so you never miss a single video from me. If you guys want to see more scary games from me, I have a whole playlist full of them. It's linked down in the description if you guys want to check it out yourselves as well. But anyways, I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Peace out. <laughs>